Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. I was trying to put my phone in my pocket as I was getting ready to walk out the door to go for my inspirational walk, my walks that are deriving so much inspiration for me right now. And um, the darn phone wouldn't go in my pocket. And I realized because I'd put my shorts on backwards, which is just the funniest damn thing. If I hadn't tried to put my phone in my pocket, I would have walked out the door with my shorts on backwards, which totally reminded me of a of a funny moment back in my mortgage banking days when I was a home loan officer and working so hard and grinding grinding away um, and that's not the complete point of this um, podcast it's just a really funny story of this episode um, the what I'm going to talk about is how um as my friend Lisa Randall likes to say, the information that I was downloading, the inspiration that's been flowing through for me or through me or to me coming out of the Funnel Hacking Live 2021, how that's coalescing and and answers are coming clear and and a lot of that is a function of patience. Like being being patient, let it come together. So the inspiration was absolutely pure. Just the final answer was not landing what I wanted when I wanted to. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. But anyway, back to the story of um, <laughs> walking out the door with my shorts on backwards. So try to put the phone in the pocket. doesn't happen. And I realized, you know how if you put something on your T-shirt on inside out or something, if you put something on wrong, you may not notice it in the first moment, but, but then you're like, oh my God, that is on backwards. So my shorts, I was like, gosh, they are uncomfortable. It's funny I didn't notice that. So back in the home loan days, especially when I was relatively new and I was just working hard because I had a new baby, Cooper Lee, who was, you know, a year old, basically when I started in the business and had my wife, Dawn, um, the boy's mom. And so I actually started having success fairly quickly, Um, you know, 2000. My first year, I think I made $60,000 or something like that. Um, But then after that, it was just, it was, uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand year two, I think. And, you know, so year two, year three on, I was just, and I put in the hours. I was dedicated to the craft, learning learning the craft getting better at the craft um whenever i had the opportunity i would talk to high performing mortgage and loan officers and pick their brain how do you do it you know who's your market what's your niche all these things and Oftentimes I wouldn't ask what the niche was, but they would tell me. 
here's my niche, find your niche, focus on it. Um, this is actually really funny because when I was at the Funnel Hacking Live, I saw the parallels between Funnel Hacking Live and the sales conference that I would go to at Wells Fargo Home Mortgage. So somewhere along the line, fairly quickly, I, you know, maybe my third or fourth year, I, probably fourth or fifth year, I, I made it to the sales conference, the annual Wells Fargo Home Mortgage sales conference where they, you know, send you somewhere super fun for a week. And so like if we'd end up in Mexico one year or some other country another year and Elton John, they hired Elton John one year. So I was like at the stage listening, you know, to Elton John or who else did we have? Beach Boy. <laughs> I think Brian Wilson, they brought him in as the Beach Boys, but he was the only one left. So I was constantly joking, Beach Boy. Um, the Eagles one year, how fun is that? Um, this was all in the 2000s. Um, Beach Boy, <laughs> the Eagles, who was the other one? Oh, um, I remember this, the year that, uh, that, uh, the Patriots went 16 and 0 and made it to the Super Bowl. And, uh, I think we were on a cruise. So that was the cruise year. Um, and, uh, they brought in, who's the guy? Was it Margaritaville? It was like James Taylor. That's who it was. James Taylor. I was so disappointed. James Taylor. Like the rumors were circulating that it was going to be the Stones or Aerosmith or, you know, a, a rollicking good time band. And it was James Taylor. Wah, wah, wah. Anyhow, I worked my butt off to in the mortgage industry. I really did. And this one day, I go out to lunch with Gary, who was my assistant. He's a great man. Salt of the earth dude. Old school dude. Gary, I can't remember his last name, but Gary was my assistant for a number of years. And um, smoked cigarettes. Like, he'd take his cigarette breaks and all this. and <laughs> Funny guy. So anyway, we're out to lunch. I look down. And I've got a black work shoe on, like a black dress shoe, and a brown dress shoe on at lunch. So I probably started work at 7 or 8 that morning. Noon, we're out to lunch, and I look down, and I'm like, wait a minute. I've got different colored shoes on, and they're different styles too. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I literally have been working the whole day walking around, ordered lunch, and did not figure it out until I sat down. And uh, I remember I was really tired that day. I was just working so hard and so focused on what I was doing that, uh, that I totally missed, that I'd, <laughs> that I'd had my shoes on wrong. Anyway. I can't remember what I did from there. I may have run home to fix it because I was like, I'm a freak show right now or what have you. Or I might have just finished out the day with different shoes on. But I'll button up this nice little episode the way this shaped up. Um, riches are in the niches. We hear that a lot. So um, at those sales conferences, I would uh, just pick the brains of the top producers be like, what are you doing? How do you do it? So, you know, I just get a lot of fundamental, basic, good information and feeding off that energy and getting to know people and getting encouraged and, you know, yeah, the networking on and on and on and new ideas, right? You're getting new ideas. People are very forthcoming with the information too which is awesome everybody's so confident in what they do they're like here's my niche here's how i do it here's this this is how i do it here's my secrets and 
And that is an, an awesome environment to be in. And so I found the same thing at Funnel Hacking Live. I was having the same experience. I was like, this is just like a, a Wells Fargo home mortgage sales conference for all the top producers or any company's sales conference for the top producers, except in the funnel hacking community world, we get to pay to go, which is good. I think pay to play is awesome because it shows a certain level of commitment and accountability and willingness but the basic structure is the same you've got the award night you've got all the amazing speakers the it's a chance to interact with the top people in the funnel hacking online entrepreneurial game and everyone is super open and forthcoming with what they're up to what they do um it's also funny, I noticed if they feel like you're, you're in effect, wasting their time, they will shut you down and move on, which is really funny, I think. Um, the car just went by, not noticing a human. It's all good, I'm still alive. Anyway, I could go on and on in this episode. I will not, I will stop. And um, have a great day. Love to all. I, uh, gosh, I feel like it's a lie. I'm not stopping, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm done. That's it. Peace out. Rough ending. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.